Hello, my name is Dark Berries. I hijacked this channel to talk about second branch job release date and guide for Ragnarok Origin Global. Why did I highlight Ragnarok Origin Global Edition? Because there are a lot version of Ro Origin on the internet now. When you read information from other content creators that shared their experiences from Korea, EU, Japan servers, take it with a grain of salt. Because most of the info they share is not working in Root Global. Monster has higher stats and death, which will impact the meta and job balance, which is explained in the previous video. Players will got One Piece's free change job ticket at LV70. And One Piece's extra free change job ticket from Dev, every time new 2 to 2 job release. Example, Monk class will be released on May 17th. You will get extra One Piece's change job ticket, you can use it to try out Monk class. If you don't like the new job, you always can revert back to your previous class within 24 hours, also has cooldown to change jobs again. Also, even you don't like the new second branch classes, you can change job to it, and instantly get the new class's release bonus, then change back lol. Before changing job, please ensure you are prepared. To avoid begin like a clown and weak and regret lol. Here I will explain, what job is recommended to play in Ragnarok Origin Global, I will only highlight the famous meta, and also will explain why. First, Monk will be released on May 17th on Global. Monk is a DPS and burst classes, one hit players PvP is a piece of cake. Win LV40 to 69, grinding with combo attack. If you already LV73 job, grinding with throw SP ball glove. If you are PvP lover, get extra Surya glove as well. Also, Monk getting stronger as a change weapon at level 70, 80, and 90. With its high ignore defense grinding skill and full ignore deficit strike, Monk is one of the good second branch class for small spender. Note, Asura strike, high DMG one hit skill has disadvantage in Ragnarok origin because of, HP shield, damage lock, meaning last hit MVP is hard to happen. Because of the HP shield. A Sura Strike cannot deal high damage or last hit the wild MVP, time space event. Even though it shows 8 million damage, you actually deal 4 million damage only. However, a Sura Strike is good at level 90 instance, when boss has high defense with no HP shield, a Sura Strike can take down 30 to 50% HP every 10 seconds, damage may vary depending on credit card. Monk also can use in card, equipment, and enchantment SP stats to increase the Sura Strike damage. Monk is not really a free to play class, because the damage gap between pay to win is really huge, unless you love Monk and don't compare with others. Next, Paladin, which should be released after 2 months, approx July. One of the best overpowered second branch classes. Paladin is the free to play as tankiest class in Ragnarok Origin, even beat Earthlord in the late game. Also, he can draw aggro from mob more stable than Knight or Earthlord. Other than tank, Paladin also is an op DPS by sacrificing HP% to deal full ignore defense critical damage to target, 
Work on players and boss. Sacrificed HP can be easily healed with cheat card or so he pet. Meaning the HP loss side effect had nothing to do with Paladin. Along with the plus 15 weapon, which makes Sacrifice Attack become unlimited. 500% ASPD, full ignore defense and flee, high HP monster is born. Not sure Global will nerf this or not. If not nerf, Paladin will be the best DPS than Assassin Cross, with high survivability and damage. Next, we have the Bard and Dancer, should be released on September they have the ability to heal, resurrection and DPS in the same time. They can use close range O DPS skill to deal huge O damage, or healing and revive to support the team, healing is based on physical attack. They main DPS skill is using ugly dance or in harmonic music and weapon passive, to deal 2 hit O damage per second plus summon puppet which help cast, Arrow Vulcan. Because using music and dance skill won't stop you from using others skill so you can DPS and healing and revive all in the same time. Bard and Dancer is also the best class to help to get MVP team reward on Wild MVP, because they can get an easy score from the MVP system, explain in other videos. Alchemist, also should be released on Sep, the very overpowered class at other servers, but in the global server, is heavily nerfed. First, is the skill multiplier reduced by half. Second, Alchemist ignored defense is a debuff type, which is not really useful. The Alchemist ignore defense skill is to reduce target defense not direct ignore like other classes. So in other words, its ignore defense skill is kinda useless. Third is his throw bottle skill cool down too long, even soul breaker, backstab, paladin sacrifices faster than him. Overall alchemist is badly nerfed at global unless Global Dev reverse its damage multiplier back just like other servers. Then we'll see about that. Stalker. Should be released in November he is the close ranger mix midrange class. Can switch between dagger and crossbow mode anytime they want. However, the attack range of crossbow is very sad, normally just for hunting monster archive. So dagger mode will be the main attack stance. From level 1 to 69, Rouge will be farming with agility crit build. But after level 70, you will get their meta weapon, holy beam weapon. Every time you attacking, from pet or backstab, you can deal 200% holy damage, from the weapon passive. When you reach LV90, the holy damage increase to 400%. If combo with backstab, you can deal a maximum of 900% damage. Also can crit with very fast speed.
Stalker also has the ignore defense skills, but too bad is the debuff type. Which is not really good, explained in the Alchemist part. In PvP, the remove equipment meta success rate is sad like hell, also needs to change from DPS to support troll to do so. Sage, released together with Stalker, a very overpowered class at other servers, but a global server is slightly nerfed. First, the main meta weapon is nerfed. Second, Sage's Ignore Def skill is a debuff type. Which is not really good, explained in the Alchemist part. The class that uses debuff type ignore defense, needs a higher all ignore defense from feather and guild skill, which is not really friendly to free to play to players, since the time and space feather is rare. Sage also is a class that lacks ignore magic defense to deal high damage, but thanks to its 4 elemental and triple throw advantage, is somehow playable but not overpowered. For the wizard that thinking to switch to Sage, require you get high ignore magic defense, at least 400 at level 90. If not, better stay with wizard class, or change to soul breaker assassin cross. ご視聴ありがとうございます。いいねをクリック、動画をシェアする、よろしくお願いします。